This is an updated video to my first video. It has been six months since I since I built this bike. It's been performing exceptionally. This is how I usually ride it. Put these uh, bungee jump cords around it to keep the to keep it tight from wheeling around. This here is uh, been holding up 50 pounds. I only bought it for 20 bucks. Again, I'll, I'll put a I'll put a list of the everything I bought in the description. Um, the motor is working great, no problems there. It's very it's a very good kit, very reliable. Um, now I'll take it on a quick little ride and show you guys how fast it goes. So uh, excuse the wind noise; it's pretty windy out here. So for this demonstration, I'm not going to be pedaling at all. The motor is going to do all the work. All right, here I go. I'm going to go through the grass here. Has no problem going through grass at all. The odometer is off by like 10 miles per hour, but not much. It goes up to 30 miles plus, but it is off by 10 miles, so it'll go up to 40. I'm not sure how to adjust it. All right. This is a pretty steep incline. It really does well. Has no problem going up this. All right. Okay, a few more things I want to add. The batteries I bought for the kit, they've been performing exceptionally. Cheap affordable $60 SLA battery, seven amp hours. They gave me about a few miles, but if you live locally and you're only traveling a small short distance this this should suffice you don't need to buy a 700 dollars battery um so yeah duct tape it make sure the batteries are are completely you know they don't move and i added i don't know what that screwdriver is doing in there that's weird i added a little um two inch wooden plank because this this uh, rear uh, mount here that holds the batteries it is, it kind of sucks because it pokes. There's this little sharp thing here and this sharp one here that pokes out. See, rip through the, rip through the case. And now it's, it's biting through it. So I put this wooden plank here to protect the batteries. Um, so yeah, if you want to search for a different one that doesn't do that, but if you do buy this, make sure to put something underneath it so that the batteries are protected. And it doesn't break the case of the batteries because you don't want any leak, leaking lead acid all over the place. It's very dangerous. And I'll just jump to how I charge it next. Another thing to be aware of is the clearance between the tire and what is above it. I just realized that the bungee, uh, the cord I was using was rubbing up against the tire and this happened. And it happened again here from where I biked here completely tore this apart now this is completely unusable okay so the charger i bought um and included in the description it's fairly straightforward take this three prong connector and just connect it to this three prong connector and then this light turns red and it begins charging a little fan inside turns on let me just go do that now Let's see if i can do this one-handed i'm sure i can little notch that you have to line it to so that it goes in. Okay, so there it goes. It turns red. Let's 
So I've had that since day one and it's proven very reliable. And I only bought it for $20. I just keep it plugged in at all times. Okay, so thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. I'll also link the first video if you're a new viewer. Thanks for watching.